Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're taking a look at a set of screwdrivers. This is a new product from Noctua. You might know them as makers of high quality computer fans. Well, they recently came out with a set of screwdrivers. So, that, so that's what we're gonna be looking at today. The two screwdrivers they've come out with is a Phillips number two and a Torx T20. These come individually boxed. On the box, there's a QR code. Hopefully you can see that. And this has the Austrian website for Noctua on it. And these are both noted as made in Taiwan. So let's take a look at these and see what we get with uh, these screwdrivers. They come in their trademark brown appearance. Open the box and we have the screwdriver. Set that down, that's the Torx T20. And we will open the other one and open this one. Also just placed individually in the box is the Phillips number two. So both of these screwdrivers have a six sided handle, knock to a logo at the top. So there's no obvious indication at the top for what size screwdriver you've got or what variety it is. And if we look at these, one of the first things I see when looking at these is this handle grip here with that six sided base looks a lot like the Vera screwdrivers and even the finish on the shaft looks a lot like the Vera screwdrivers. However, it was noted as being made in Taiwan when the Vera screwdrivers are made in the Czech Republic. So not sure exactly uh, who the OEM is on this. I would be surprised if Noctua is actually making these because they're a computer fan company. And so we get a Phillips and we have our Torx T20. So let's take a look at the shaft and the length of these. So we'll use some American units here and that shaft is coming in, uh, including the very end of the tip. We're looking at about uh, five and seven eighths inches long. And that would be the same for both of them. Overall length is about nine and a half inches. And the diameter or the circumference of these, I'm actually surprised at how just skinny and small these handles are. They are much smaller than what I was expecting. One of the nice things about these screwdrivers since they have that six sided uh, edge to that hexagonal shape to them is if I just accidentally drop this down, the amount of roll that's gonna take place is gonna be minimal even if I spin it on the way down because it's not gonna roll across my desk or wherever uh, to get away. So just for a point of comparison, I grabbed a Vera number two uh, Phillips screwdriver. And here is the Noctua Phillips number two screwdriver and a Vera T20 screwdriver. So there are some different lengths you can get the Vera screwdrivers in. So to be fair, if you want slightly longer or shorter ones, these are just the standard customary length ones. So the first thing I see is that indeed the number two Noctua has a longer shaft than the standard length on the Phillips number two. There is no knurling of the tip or laser etching on the, hopefully you can see that, on the Vera, there is a knurled or laser etched tip. There's a blasted end of the tip here on the T20 and no indication of the same here with the Noctua. Now for a few little comparisons here, I've got a decking screw. This is an outdoor rated screw that has a T20 head on it. Let's go ahead and start with the Noctua screwdriver. So obviously it's brand new out of the box Holds it just fine. If I take the Vera screwdriver, also holds it just fine. Obviously, the screw is in great condition. It's not been stripped or anything to that effect. Now here is a Phillips number two head. This is a basic standard drywall screw. Now let's take a look at this Noctua screwdriver here. That does seat in it and holds it. Let me shake it again, put it on the tip. Let 
All right, now that's holding it. If I put it on the Vera, also holding it. Obviously, so these Vera screwdrivers, I've had these for maybe just a little under six months, so they're not completely uh, banged up and trashed yet. So they're in fairly good shape, all things considered. And that's holding the screw just fine, as well as this number two uh, from Noctua. So when it comes to computer building, I can see perhaps in some cases with like uh, computer cases, having the slightly longer and skinnier shaft compared to the Vera, because uh, if you put, I put these side by side, you can see the shaft diameter of the Noctua, which is on top here, is smaller than the Vera, which had me concerned for how well it was going to grip screws. Both of these have the hexagonal side on it. And if I didn't know any better, I would think this was just simply a brown rebranded Vera, but I'm very skeptical that it actually is. They match the pattern of the Vera surprisingly well, which makes me wonder if there's a trademark or if they got any licenses to match it, because my understanding is that Vera uh, has a trademark on this style of screwdriver head, and this Noctua design is very, very similar, but it's not made in the Czech Republic, so I'm very suspicious. If you got any questions or have any ideas, I'd be curious down below if you have any thoughts about that. All right, so now I have my dial calipers here, and we'll take a look at the shaft size, particularly on the Phillips number two. That is checking in at 0.197 inches, 0.197, and the diameter and the tip is consistent with the shaft diameter on the Vera, and that checks in at 2.35, 0 0.235 inches. So obviously just slightly uh, thicker and larger on the Vera. We'll set the Vera aside. So something else I'm very curious about, if you're building PCs, one of the things that's very important is to avoid uh, magnetization, it's particularly if you've got spinning hard drives that use uh, magnets to be able to store data. So I've got a magnetizing tool here. And then to me, in a perfect world, these would be stainless steel. There's no information telling me what the metal material is on this because perfect and true stainless steel uh, cannot be magnetized. And that to me, if we're looking at a computer building screwdriver, it would be highly desirable. So I've got my screwdriver magnetizer here. This is just a little uh, simple Husky one. So I'm just gonna pass So hopefully that's enough to magnetize the tip here of the screwdriver. And let's see if it did anything. And indeed, it looks like the tip is magnetizable. It's a little disappointing. I'd love it to be non-magnetizable. We'll go ahead and put this into the demagnetization end. And now you can see the magnetization is gone. We'll try that with the T20. We'll go ahead and put it into the, magne the magnetizing side. Maybe I didn't quite do that enough. And after a little bit of trying, indeed, I was able to magnetize the shaft on this T20. So this is not a perfect, true stainless steel that's not magnetizable. 
a little disappointing. It took a little more effort to get that T20 uh, to magnetize. I'm a very disappointed in that from a computer technology company that these screwdrivers are magnetizable. And so in my mind, looking at these screwdrivers that are uh, for the price, I would recommend, and I'll put a links down below to where you can buy these on Amazon Prime as well as the Vera screwdrivers. I'd recommend just buying the Vera screwdrivers because then you can get, uh, you, there's even some anti-static versions of these Vera screwdrivers you can buy. And you can buy a bunch of other sizes and shaft lengths as needed uh, for your particular application. And so then you can have a matched set of screwdrivers and a whole variety of other options you can have with the Vera as opposed to the Noctua. You can see, indeed, this Vera here is magnetized. In case you're wondering about the Vera stainless steel screwdrivers that are black with this light blue, almost white inlay on them that are advertised as stainless steel, and if they're magnetizable, the unfortunate surprise is, yes, they are actually relatively easily magnetized as well, as you can see by picking up the screw here. So unfortunately, these are not the solution either. If you know of a screwdriver that is non-magnetizable, I'd love to hear about it. Please put in the comments down below. And so these Noctua screwdrivers, well, interesting. And if you're really into that chocolate brown and black grip color, uh, go ahead. I guess they're something you might be interested in, or if you're just a really a Noctua uh, fanboy, uh, maybe these are for you. But in my mind, for what you get for these screwdrivers, you could do the same with a Vera screwdriver and perhaps get a little bit more for your money uh, and be able to get a whole range of matching screwdrivers. So a little disappointed in this offering from Noctua. Uh, if you've got these or anything else like them, I'd love to hear about your thoughts or comments. Put it down below. Love to hear about it. Uh, any other experiences or anything else you'd recommend instead of these? Love to hear about that as well. If you think I got it completely wrong and, they, and you think they're the greatest thing ever, love to hear about that too. Put it down in the comments below. Let's get a conversation going. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day. Bye.